Welcome to the Konoha Corner Manga Quickie. I am Gothic Gara. I'm here with Choji. Rada. Hinata. Hi. Orochimaru. Hiya, kitties. Tamari. Hi. Kakashi. I just shit my pants. So, uh, basically what, uh, what we're doing here with this quickie thing is we're gonna go through the manga and just kinda talk about some stuff. We're not actually gonna read it or anything like that. We're just gonna talk about it. And this is our way of s- still staying current, even though our manga recaps that we're gonna do for the actual show are going to be two weeks back because we're using Shonen Jump Alpha starting this week. So, when episode 135 comes out, we'll be using uh, Shonen Jump Alpha. So that'll be some fun stuff. Alright, well the chapter was 272 and it was called Nine Names. And the first thing we see is the ghetto statue and the two Bijudama like slamming into each other. And uh, that doesn't look like a euphemism for testicles at all. <laughs> uh, okay, this is another thing that I thought was kind of interesting. You have basically, Toby has moved the ghetto statue to protect him. So Apparently he's not immune to everything. This blast would have hurt him. So that's like an interesting side note there. And uh, we get to see some of the Jinjiriki. Looks like the Eight Tails is protecting himself with like his tentacles. I think this is the Four Tails Jinjiriki. I can't yeah, be it sure. Is. It's the Four Tails it? Okay. Uh, this is the Four Tails Jinjiriki that is being held in the Eight Tails tentacles. And the two Bijudama are clashing, and that's badass. Now there are a lot of people saying, "Oh, why weren't there? Why were there so few pages?" Uh, actually, it's the same amount of pages that you would normally get from any other shonen manga. It's just that there are double pages, like this giant clash with the Bijudama. Those are double pages, buddy. That's what that is. That's two pages in one. All right, uh, a lot of action this time around. I mean, for. Uh, the beginning of this, I think there was a lot of action. What do you guys think? There was a lot of action. I liked it. Alright. Well, we've already kind of moved on to page four because of all the action and everything, but you've got Naruto using the nine tails of the f- of Kurama to grab a hold of each of the other tailed beasts, I think by their throats or wherever the uh, the chakra the chakra rods are located. <laughs> he must have grabbed hold of it pretty hard because it looks like, like especially the the five tails. He look, he's like, ah. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and weigh in on this. What do you guys actually think about the nine tails new form with like the the lines and the tails and then like the spine, the way it looks and everything? Look badass. It's freaking I awesome. Like I'm gonna love like when he actually tattoos. goes like legit Karama mode. No, I like the way it looks kind of like a tribal me. tattoo. Tribal tattoo? Okay. Yeah. What, uh, all right. Uh, Orochimaru, did you say something? It looks like Naruto learned well from me. Oh, God. All right. Uh, I, I also like the fact that he's also using sage mode at the same time. That's pretty badass. Like, I'm still waiting for the time that he goes into fox mode and sage mode at the same time, but all of his clones were in sage mode up until a certain point. And the next page, and all the clones are in the... Uh, nine tails chakra mode that he uses, which uh was amazing to see in the anime this week. By the way, just saying. But I I, I I know people that have been weighing back and forth with the new uh look for Naruto now that he's gone full nine tails mode and he's got like a chakra cloak and everything. Uh, like some people on the crew don't like it, most of us do. But you know, it, it's to eat to each their own. All right, and we move on to the next page, and Naruto is actually in the subconscious area with not only the tailed beast, but the uh, Jinchuriki as well. So Which is there, cool. yeah. Now is that the? That's the three tails, right? That uh, yeah, three tails, okay. seven tails, two tails. Because in the uh, anime, in the anime, and in the manga, the the three tails was all on its own. So I don't know what happened to. The guy that was supposed to be his Jinchuriki, because I know it was. I know that the original Jinchuriki was under Toby's control, of the Sharingan. But like, 
then when they went to go capture the three tails, Toby fought the three tails when he was in when he was all derp mode, and then uh, that was that. So uh, I mean, now we've got this conversation going on. What what are you guys? What are, what are some of the favorite parts on these two pages? Because this is another one of those double pages on here. I think just seeing the mass of those characters is really something else. Seeing the demons. And then you see have that little teeny Naruto, and then you remember, right? Oh, shit. Hey, it's not just me, though, is it? Like, the two tails looks absolutely adorable. Yeah, yeah. I want to hug the tails. Like, even in its full grown-up form, the two tails still looks really cute. And I like how all the Jinjiriki are, like, saying, yo, what's up? <laughs> like, that's great. Hey, man. <laughs> They're, like, totally chill about everything, man. <laughs> also, the seven-tailed beetle, or whatever kind of bug that thing is. Totally awesome. Like a dragonfly type thing. Yeah, I think so too. I think it might have right officer speedle because of the um head thing. I like how the the fourth Mizukage has officially just announced himself as being the uh, the official representative for everybody else. But uh, you turn the page, and I love right after this, Naruto's breaking into <laughs> tears. He's like, oh my god, you're a boy, but you look weaker and smaller than me and everything. You must have had it rough. I like how he's like without knowing what ramen tastes like, good ramen or uh, a kiss from a girl tastes like. I and love that QB points out. I love that QB is like, you never kiss a girl either, but you've kissed Sasuke. And he's like, don't make me remember that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. So we still get our humor from this. Yeah, but oh god, hey, that's too much barfing. What in the world did he taste like? <laughs> <laughs> Now, now I was happy to see that we finally got another. Uh, uh, we finally got dialogue for Fu, because it's the first time we've had Fu on here, so that was pretty awesome. Then we have more flashback of uh, Son Goku talking to his Jinchuriki. Uh, I can't remember his name right now. What was the name of uh, Son Goku's Jinchuriki? Don't remember. Well, it's not. It's not just the Jinchuriki he's talking to, but it, I mean, he's talking to all the other Biju and Jinchuriki as well. But this guy's so calm and everything, it's like he's sitting there peacefully on on his Biju, so it's almost like he's in sage mode. Like, I keep looking at him, I'm like, is he a sage? I, I mean, that that's just one of the things. So, we move on to 10, and everybody's kind of talking a bit about it. And you can definitely tell that Naruto is getting a lot more powerful as time goes on. Mm-hmm. And then everybody gives their names. Which was pretty freaking cool. Yeah, you've got, uh, okay, so you find out, uh, you, you, we already knew about Yugito, and, uh, the, uh, ex-fourth Mizukage was Yagara, that's their name. Han is the Five Tails, and so the Five, and then we've got Utakata is the Jinchuriki of the Six Tails, and, uh, somebody was bringing up this point earlier, they were like, why doesn't Naruto remember U- Utakata? You saw him before, blah, 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 no. He actually didn't. That was filler that showed up in the anime, and that that was a little filler arc, and it never happened in the manga. So for all intents and purposes with the manga, Naruto never met this person. So that was that was Studio Piero screwing up. They should not have done that. Then Fu. And then, uh, of course, the, the tailed beasts actually say their names. So the two tails is Matatabi, and the three tails is Isobu, uh... Four tails uh, the, is Koku. No, the four tails is Koku. Uh, Koku. Koku. Uh huh. Saiken is the five tails. Uh, where is this? Is the six tail? No, wait. Five tails. Okay, Saiken is the six tails. I'm sorry. Koku is the five tails. Because the four tails is Sun Goku. That's right. Well, we right. messed up there. And seven is Chome. Okay. Then I like how everybody's like putting all their hands together, and Naruto's like, "Sup." I like how the um, six tails has got that dinky little squishy hand. And then we get to the part that everybody was talking about on page eleven, the the Aww. bottom half of page eleven, where QB goes into flashback mode, and you see the Sage of Six Paths talking. Now, there's a couple things that I want to talk about real quickly when we get in this circle. Now, somebody else pointed this out, but um, not only does everybody look cuter when they're like in uh, cub form or whatever you want to call it. But if you pay attention to where all the Biju are sitting in the circle, the Nine Tails is actually the closest to the Sage of Six Paths. He's the only one in that ring right before you get to the center of that circle. So 
Everybody else is like a ring back, and the Nine Tails is the only one sitting closest. I don't know if that implies that there's a relationship, like the Nine Tails had a closer relationship with the Sage of Six Paths or not, but that was one of the things that somebody pointed out. Also, there, there's been a lot of speculation about the symbols on the coat that the Sage of Six Paths is wearing. The nine tomo that are on his back, and this is what this is what I've been looking at and checking out. I think it represents each of the nine tailed beasts, and uh, that's not the Sharingan on his back, nor is it the Uzumaki swirl. I'm so tired of hearing people saying that to me. It is not the Uzumaki swirl. If anything, it looks like the Renengan, which we do know that the Sage of Six Paths happen to possess. Another thing, on page 12, you get a side view of the Sage of Six Paths, and people were bitching, Why can't we see his eyes? Well, the, he he's old and he has wrinkles, but there's like three of them. So somebody was like, Doesn't he have the same marks as Naruto on his face? I was like, No, those are wrinkles. He's old. And then we get QB tears. Aww, it's so cute. I want to hug him. He's a little kid. Alright, and then we've got... Naruto coming back to reality and taking all the chakra bars out of each of the tailed beasts. And they all have, like, a parting thought. And then, uh, the Nine Tails mode goes away. The ghetto statues, the ghetto Mazo statue starts pulling the tailed beast back inside of it. And Toby's sitting there saying, oh, this changes nothing, blah, 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 blah. To which Naruto replies back with, Oh, like hell it does. Everything has changed, because I just learned a whole bunch of difficult names all at once. Blah, blah, blah. So that's how the manga ends, and let's 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 talk a little bit about this going on. Now, I know that Naruto probably learned the names, but I'm pretty sure that's not all that he learned. There may have been more of a conversation that we just didn't get to be privy to that might have gone on. He might have gotten a little bit more than Chakra. He might have gotten some more memories about the Sage with Six Paths. So there's a lot more that can be speculated from what he got. Uh, does this... Th there's definitely there's definitely a consensus going around in the Naruto community that Naruto is going to be the next Sage of Six Paths. And I can definitely agree to that. I think that's true. Like, he's going to... I don't know if he's necessarily going to be the next Sage of Six Paths or he's going to be the new one and become better than the original, like, uh, as far as the BG are concerned. Because now we're we're starting to get into that mode where we realize, oh, the BG aren't masses of hatred. Wonderful. I wonder if maybe sometime in the future he'll let them all out and they'll be just fine. Yeah, that was another thing that somebody was bringing up on uh, I forums. I would love that. I would definitely say that checking out some of the forums is a good way to uh, see the thought process of some of the other Naruto fans and kind of comment on that. And we want basically what we're doing here is we're wanting to uh, talk about some of the theories that are going around the community and uh, debunk any rumors going around that don't seem to be right. Like, okay, um, so far there's been a rumor going around the. Naruto is a direct descendant of the Sage of Six Paths. That does seem likely uh, from the Uzumaki clan. We do know that the Uzumaki clan could very well be a descendant because they are related to the Senju. They are distant relatives of the Senju clan. And Toby himself has said that Naruto has the Senju clan in his blood. So that could either have come from his father or mother. So there's that there. Well, and just we look also at Naruto. Know... He was an Uzumaki and he had the Renegon. Exactly. And we also know that, that the Uchiha is descendant of the Sage of Six Paths, so there we go with that. Now, there are a lot of people that are like, oh, Naruto is going to get his own like Sharingan or Renengan. I don't think he's going to get a Sharingan. Renengan might, might be possible, but let's remember that Nagato didn't come across his Renengan necessarily naturally. They were originally taking, I think they were Toby like implanted them into him somehow so there's that any other comments coming around from the community that you guys wanted to talk about anything else that you wanted to bring up that you saw in this chapter that you think we should talk about i wonder if we'll ever see the shikaku again yeah that's another good point haven't seen shikaku in a while it would be nice to see him again frankly the only time we've seen shikaku at all was during the fight between 
uh, Naruto and Gara. That so, was way back in the old days. Yeah, yeah, it very much was. And I think with Gara mellowing out, that might have helped things with Shikaku. Though we don't ev- we don't actually know how much of a dialogue Gara had with Shikaku. I think he just kind of considered him a demon. I don't know for sure, but uh, uh, I'd like to see more going on with Shikaku. Anybody else? Oh, and it would be nice to find out his real name, too. His name is Shikaku. Well, I mean, just like everybody called Kurama Kyuubi. Yeah, but Kyuubi means nine tails. They also called him Ichibi, which means one tails. But Shikaku is actually his name. If you go back and look at all the names that were given to all of the different tailed beasts when the Sage of Six Paths was talking to them, he actually called Shikaku Shikaku. So he's actually been called by his true name the entire time. Cool. Firstly, I'm pretty sure they're all going to be like, it's his great, great, great grandchild or something. And <laughs> okay. they're all going to be like crying and yeah, yay. Like, what? Well, there's, <laughs> going from this, do, do you guys think that there may be a meeting between Naruto and the Sage of Six Paths, kind of like how Kushina and Minato met with him? Probably. That would be so oh. freaking awesome. Like he could have left a bit of himself behind in the chakra of some of the tailed beasts, and when Naruto gets to a certain point, he gets to meet and talk to the Sage of Six Paths. Oh, hell. Okay, I still just want to know who who is Toby. Yeah, there's a rumor going around that Toby is... There There are two... There are two well, actually three, but the, the last one just seems like trolling. Yeah. Uh... But uh, let's go ahead and get the trolling one out of the way. And that's uh, everybody saying Obito. <laughs> I don't actually think that Obito is Toby. Like, really? I, I think I don't Obito's see that. probably dead. We've sailed that ship already. It's I, I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, for those of you crying out for Orochimaru still, um, I hate to say it, but Kishi's already said that we won't see any more Orochimaru, so don't count on that one. So what, uh, that, what does that leave? Kishi's going to seriously have to change his mind. Uh, you're dealing with Kabuto now, not Orochimaru. Oh, uh, Sage of Six Paths. Toby could be the Sage of Six Paths. That, that was one going around. Outcome. Yeah. Hey, they're both old and wrinkly. There's one more. Who? Madara's brother. Yeah, Shisui. Or not Shisui, but... Um, Ah, oh, God, I can't remember his name, but Madara's brother. That's what everybody was, uh, Ma- uh, Madara's brother. That was another one going around. Uh, oh, Itsuki? Itsuki? I don't I don't remember the kid's name. I know it's not Shisui, because Shisui was Itachi's friend. But yeah, uh, Madara's brother was another one of those going around, that it could be him. So. I would approve of that. It would make a bit of sense, somewhat. That would make sense for why he was so freaked out at the um, coffin of the real Madara. Yeah, it, it would explain a lot. That's another thing. What about Toby? He seemed to be really, really calm, even in that situation of like losing all the tailed beasts. Think he has something up his sleeve still? Or is this pretty much Naruto's for the taking? I think he has an ace up his sleeve. Oh, okay. Any ideas as to what that ace might be? Well, he had the same ace he probably has with Sasuke. Oh, okay. All right, another thing that got brought up is somebody who kept, uh, there's somebody that's still trolling about the fact that Jiraiya could get revived through Edo Tensei, and I'm like, it's... Kishimoto's pointed out, and he even went so far as to make sure in the manga that it was said that... Kabuto has said that he doesn't have the cells of Jiraiya. He can't get a hold of them because he's in the ocean, so Jiraiya will not be reincarnated. Kishi's not going to be that mean, apparently. Though, it, it has been said that quite possibly Kabuto could have gotten a hold of the sails of the Sa- Sage of Six Paths, and he could use Edo Tensei to bring the Sage of Six Paths back as well. So, that's another thing to just kind of throw out there. If there's any other theory stuff going on, or, or maybe if you guys want to talk about some other stuff that we haven't been seeing in a while, like, you know, what's going on with Itachi, if y'all want to make, if y'all want to talk about what you think is going to happen with Itachi, because uh, right now we know he's trying to go after Kabuto, or the uh, five Kage fighting Madara, if y'all want to talk about what you guys think about that. We don't just have to talk about what's going on with Naruto right now. So if anybody wants to make a guess as to what's going to happen in that. Well, in respect to the uh, the Itachi Sasuke thing, if that does happen, then there's probably going to be a big emotional thing for Sasuke. 
Yeah. Even though he's being all hard ass when he sees him, he's probably gonna go, "Oh my god, you were right." Blah blah blah. I want to know and what's then, happening with Karin. With what? With Ka- with Karin? Yeah, because yeah. she's she's in an, in a Konoha prison right now. Mm. Yeah, maybe she has something useful for the plot. Probably not, but you know. Eating katsudon pork. I yeah, think, pork. When it comes to like the Kakashi and Guy thing, I think at some point in this war, Kakashi is going to awaken his ultimate Sharingan at some point. Yeah. And then die. What? No, no. <laughs> or perhaps he'll get a hold of uh, uh, of Madara's or uh, Toby's stash of Sharingans and end up implanting another one. Yeah, a he'll different have... one into his other eye. Into his other eye, or not not into his other eye, but the same eye that he has as Sharingan, so he'll end up having Eternal. A turtle? No, turtle. Eternal. Oh, I thought you said turtle. a turtle. I'm like... <laughs> yeah, he's going to have a turtle, and they're going to be the best of friends. He, he, he's going to implant another Sharingan, and it's going to have the power to summon a fiery turtle? Oh my god. Yes. I, I want turtle. that power. I, I have that power now. It's Kakashi. He's icon. going to summon, and the turtle he's going to summon will be Donatello. Oh god. So no. he becomes Guy Sensei? No. No, no, no. Guy Sensei can't summon a real Ninja Turtle. I say it's Raphael. Are you sure? I think it's Donatello because. Wait, no. He, which one's the builds... red one? I for... Which one? That... Raphael is the red one. Yeah, Raphael. That one. Donatello's he... the one with the staff that builds all the bi- badass awesome machines. I say Michelangelo. No. Well, you know what? You know what? I, I say Michelangelo too, just because he'll stop everything to have a pizza party. Ah, uh, yes. He'd be like, why are we fighting? There's pizza. Exactly. And then Ra- and then Naruto will get introduced to Ichiraku Ramen Pizza, and that will be the way that the world ends. In a good way. No. In a good way. Because you can't do anything better in the world than that. <laughs> Wait, ramen. ramen pizza. You said ramen pizza? And everybody pizza? will just come together and hold hands and smoke hashish and, yeah. Something like that. Oh, my lord. Oh, God, not, no, no. <laughs> this is suddenly taking Brown. a turn for the horrible. All right, so anyway, uh, well, uh, we talked a bit about Itachi. What about the five Kages thing? Anybody got any ideas about uh, what may be happening there later? I think they'll all die. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Well, one of them's on the brink of death. Oh, you mean the old man? Uh-huh. Yeah, of course. Who's going to take over for him? Well, I mean, uh... Mother is pretty badass, so, I mean, what do you think? Is do, Does anybody see anything happening there? What? Fight's gonna go on until Naruto gets there to save the day. <laughs> okay, that's that That's that big prediction. Okay, well, this has been uh, the manga quickie from Konoha Corner. I'm Gothigara. I am Choji. I'm Hinata. I'm Dr. Snake Leffin. Ooh, quickie. <laughs> I'm Tamari, and, um, stay away from me, Orochimaru. I'm Turtle Master Kakashi, and Raphael will burn you all. <laughs> and that is it for the quickie. We're signing out. Peace. Peace.